Clef announced the new Crass XR RGB alongside with the Bolt XR early September this year. It features a brand new minimalist heat spreader similar to the design of the RGB-less Bolt XR, but with a touch of RGB-like design. That is different from the rest of the Crass series memory kit we have seen so far. The kit we have here today is a 16GB of DDR4-4000MHz which is also using the SK Hynix DJR memory chips. And after seeing how well the Bolt XR can actually perform, we will be putting the Crass XR RGB to the test and hopefully it will perform just as good as it is. At the first glance, the Crass XR RGB looks very similar to the Bolt XR in terms of the design. It is not hard to tell that Clef has specially designed the Crass XR RGB for users who are into RGB lightings but not into those over exaggerated and tall design RAM kits. Well, like what you have seen nowadays, especially those super tall and you have to look for those uh, coolers with tall memory clearance and things like that. Now, I'm a fan of minimalist build and this RAM is definitely something I will consider if I'm building a low profile gaming PC but still want a little bit of RGB touch in it. Now, just to let you guys know, this PC built over here is not the test system we use to test this RAM. If you are interested, we actually have another video uh, featuring how we built this PC. Check it out somewhere over here or links down in the description below. Now back to the design of the RAM itself. Thanks to the light diffuser, the RGB lighting is not the type of blindingly bright lights. The color transition is probably one of the smoothest I have seen to date which is great if you're especially picky at this aspect. Now, let's get into the performance. A quick look at the Typhoon Burner reveals the memory chip to be the SK Hynix DJR memory chips, which is known to have plenty of headroom for overclocking. For our overclocking test, we tried to push the Crass XR RGB as much as we can, just to see how far can the kit can go with the default cooling solution. The adjustments are done during the test includes increasing the VDIM, primary timings, and sub-timings to ensure the settings are stable and are able to clear at least HCI MEM test at 400%. On supported motherboards, you should be able to run the Crass XR RGB with its XMP profile without any issue. The timings on the XMP profile do seem a little bit loose here, but you can always tighten it with some slight adjustment on both the primary and sub timings without having to increase the VDIM, which is 1.4 volt. Going beyond 4000 MHz doesn't require too much of the VDIM adjustment. In our case, the required VDIM remains under 1.5 before hitting 4666. The highest we can go with CL19 is at 4666, which is at CL19, 25, 25, 45, and VDIM at 1.48 volts. Based on the test that we have done, you will at least need CL20 for the Crass SR RGB to go beyond 4666. Now, 4900 is the highest we can go with the Crass XR RGB for now, which is able to survive through the 400% on HCI and a total of 20 instances running smoothly and simultaneously. Now we are able to post with a DDR4 5000, but we are unable to get it to run stable enough to survive even 100% on HCI. And 4933 only does slightly better on 260% on HCI. So, there you have it. There's no doubt the Crass XR RGB is one of the best looking DDR4 memory kits with RGB like things we have seen to date. Simple yet elegant. Very well made RGB lightings with butter smooth color transition. And 
pretty much it works with all your favorite uh, RGB Aura Sync that kind of uh, software is available on the market. As for the performance, you can definitely go higher than the rated speed as long as you have the hardware that is capable of doing so. Similar to what we have observed on the Bolt XR, the Crust XR RGB can be pushed pretty far ahead of its rated speed. We didn't manage to get it to run at 5000MHz this time, but it can still do 4900 without any issue. And we believe it can definitely do better than that with a better hardware, especially the motherboard. Now, as for the price, because uh, the kit we have here uh, is stated for 4000 megahertz, which I don't think is available in the Malaysia, but if we search through our favorite e-commerce website, we can see plenty of sellers selling the 3600 megahertz kit for the Cross XR RGB. And the retail price for this 8 gig, twin 8 gig kit is priced at 399 ringgit Malaysia. We would say that is a pretty fair deal for what you're paying for the Crust XR RGB. Good build quality and design for those who are looking for a slightly different kind of aesthetics for their system and plenty of overclocking headroom for some overclocking fun. So that's all we want to say about the new Clef Crust XR RGB RAM. Do let us know what you guys think about this RAM and I'll see you guys in the next video.